Hey everybody, good afternoon. I'm Tim Berzinski. Welcome. In this quick screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use GeoGebra exam mode. GeoGebra's graphing calculator has a built-in feature called exam mode that allows students to safely use their mobile device okay, that you give in your geometry or say Algebra 2 class or whatever. Okay, And exam mode requires the student to put their device with uh, an airplane mode with both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. So there's no, no incoming, no outgoing, anything. It locks the device down. I'm going to demonstrate for you right here very quickly. So I'm going to share my screen. We'll, uh, we'll do this. Now, uh, here on my screen, I'm going to actually show you my, I have my iPad here, all right, and um, hooked up through QuickTime Player. My iPad is acting like a big iPhone, if you will, okay? So we'll go to GeoGebra Graphing Calculator, open it up, and in the menu here, Okay, you see the upper bars left, you'll see uh, exam mode right here. Touch it, and look what it prompts me to do automatically. It says, hey, dude, switch to airplane mode and turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to continue. So I cannot even enter into airplane mode until those, uh, those things are off. So I'll hit my home button in my settings here, and I will turn off, uh, put everything in airplane mode. Notice here Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both off. Okay, so now let's go back into the crafting calculator. Okay, now it says confirm app self lock. It says graphing calculator wants to start single app mode. You can't, you'll be unable to use any other apps on this iPad or on your Android or whatever device you're using until graphing calc and single app mode. In essence, it's going to confiscate the device and just pretty much lock it down. You have to allow the C hit yes. And now it's locked to graphing calculator. And here's where you have the magic touch one, two, three, hit start. You are now in exam mode. That green bar indicates you are literally locked into exam mode. Green is good, all right? And notice there's a timer up top here. It keeps track of the time. Now, I would actually have my students in the second or third week of school try to break this. See if you can get out of this. Try to figure it out. Play the system, right? I mean, these are things a student's going to want to try to do anyway. So um, the thing is, it's, there's, there's really only two ways out of this, okay? The first way is to actually power your device down. I mean, GeoGebra cannot totally, totally take control of your, your device that it, you can't shut it off. If you power it down and turn it back on, which I'm not going to do here, it'll actually make this bar turn red. And a red bar means bad. So obviously, you're not, it's not going to work out for you. It'll never turn green, OK? Um, the only other way to get out of there is to exit the exam. Now, I could show you that in a second here. But uh, again, the same features, the same functionality here that you normally have when, you're, when students have when they're using GeoGebra to discover whatever, there's, whatever it is they're discovering, they could use these same tools safely on a, on a, on a summative assessment here. For example, I'm investing a million dollars, right? Let's say we earn compound interest here. Uh, say 3.5% compounded. Look how fast that is. It's so beautiful. Compounded uh, daily, right? All raised to the 365x. I mean, you have your students kept, uh, plot these, uh, graph these functions and other devices, don't you? Right? So then let's see, gee, how long does it take for this investment to reach $1.5 million? I solve for it algebraically, but I want to now use GeoGebra to graphically confirm the accuracy of my solution, say. All right, so enter. And I can, now since I'm, on a, since I'm in a, an exam, I just want to show all objects like Zoom Fit we're used to. Hit the settings bar. That Zoom Fit right there will take me right there. I could see the, the graph and the function, and lo and behold, all I need to do is touch where they intersect, and there you go. Okay, it takes about 11 and, uh, 11, uh, and 6 tenths years. Or I can actually change this at any time and see, you know, see what I want to see, and so on and so forth. I could change anything here, and let's suppose it's a one-question quiz, right? Now I need to exit the exam, all right? The way, again, I'm hitting my home button. It is locking my device. I cannot get out, even though no matter how hard I try. So the way to exit exam mode here is to go here to the menu, hit exit exam. Do you really want to exit exam mode? It gives you a warning because, see, what some students may try to do is actually exit in the middle of an exam. And then when you're at your desk grading your papers, they'll want to come back into the exam and make it look like they're, they're doing it. But what's going to be the dead giveaway is the time here, right? Right now, this, I've, I'm in 2 minutes and 34 seconds in this exam. But if a student leaves and comes back, it's going to restart from zero, and the student's going to get caught no matter what. Now, my students knew my heart's intent was never to catch them or, you know, or get them. But you know, students need to be aware of this and say, hey, you know what? Just uh, only exit if you're truly done. You hit exit. So I would go up to the students' desk when I take their test. I say, I say show me this. Uh, show me their, your um, your your uh, log here. Notice the start time, right? Uh, three twenty-five and time three twenty-eight in the afternoon. So now I hit exit. 
And when I hit exit, now I'm totally out of exam mode, as you can see here. Okay. Now, um, believe it or not, that image that you just saw actually goes to your camera. I'll show you here. Anytime you have a screenshot of something like that taken, if you go to your camera, anytime you exit out of exam mode here, the first image that you'll see appear is an actual screenshot. So when is this useful? Uh, how about during, say, period five, when I say had one of my students in the ISS room for the day, administration gave them an ISS for something, you know, they did. And so I would walk down to the ISS room and say, hey, get your device out and put it in exam mode. And then I would have the kid, I would know the start time. You know, when I gave, when I delivered the, the, the paper to the ISS proctor or the student there, I just walked right in. And then basically the student now can send me that, um, can forward me that thing, you know, obviously send it to my email. So obviously I don't want to, I don't want to be checking 8 million students logs. I check it when I collect the tests, but for the one or two ISS kids that I have to give an exam to, I walk it down. I have the kid email them back to me and it makes my life a lot, lot easier. So that is GeoGebra exam mode really in, uh, in a nutshell there. So, um, but yeah, so a lot of great uh, things going on, especially even seeing, um, Twitter goes again to the Salonica Central High School District uh, in New Long Island, New York, uh, for becoming the first district in this country to uh, in the USA to use GeoGebra graphing calculator safely on the New York Regents uh, exams, Algebra One, Geometry, and Algebra Two. These are high stakes exams. Um, they received support from an amazing software company called Jamf that works closely with Apple, and uh, they helped make that happen. So, um, but. In your own classes, you know, on your unit three algebra two test or your geometry test, whatever, you can safely use GeoGebra exam mode all the time. I, I have my kids use it on their devices all the time and never any issues whatsoever. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, uh, some of you teachers may be in districts that use iPads or Apple district. Another way you can actually uh, lock your students' devices down is through the Apple Classroom app. And those of you that use Apple Classroom know exactly what I'm talking about. You have your kids with years too, and I've known teachers who have locked it to the GeoGebra graphing calculator. And in that case, you know, you can't turn Wi-Fi off because you literally, you know, need that there for Apple Classroom to work. It needs Wi-Fi. So Apple Classroom is one way to do it. I know Google has another classroom management system messages that have that component out there. So anything is possible, you know, it uh, and it can make it work. So just wanted to show you that today. Um, Tim Brzezinski, thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Uh, coming up later this week, I'm going to do some demos um, how to make your own custom tools in GeoGebra, how to limit the toolbar to make your own scaffolded student center discovery. So, so GeoGebra offers so much to facilitate uh, with respect to fostering student center learning and amazing, fun, and exciting learning, too. I also want to throw out a quick invite to Augmented Reality webinar uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, uh, February 19th, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'll be putting out more tweets about that as the day approaches, but um, have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching.